Hello my tea leaves, welcome back. It's Matcha Tea. I hope you guys like your name. It was suggested by this fan over here. I made it tea leaves because matcha is made from tea leaves. And matcha wouldn't be here without tea leaves, just like I wouldn't exist here without you guys. Today I will be talking about a famous Gakatuber, Nahima Rahman and why she I has gotten too far. Now I really don't like talking about other Gakatubers just because I do not want any hate towards them. However, this video is just to educate Nahima, and I am not trying to hate on her. Credits to Flotilendi for the source. I hope you guys like my new intro. Let's get into the video. A lot of you might know who Nahima is. Since she has over 1 million subscribers, if you combine her main and alt, she makes relatable content and uploads 3 minus 4 plus videos every day. But her content is usually 5 minus 15 screenshot of things and title it something relatable. She has been in so many dramas recently and I will try covering most of them. If you go over to Nahima's channel, you can see a lot of clickbaits and triggering contents. She uses tons of clickbait to attract her audience, which seems to be working since she gets about 100,000 plus views on her videos. She also includes blood in her thumbnails. She needs to learn that blood can be very triggering. She is a big content creator, so she needs to know that her audience can be triggered. When you are a Gakatuber, you start getting criticism, and Nahima looks like she cannot handle any of them. She has been brought up tons of times for her immatureness for her age. She even sends her fanbase to attack creators. She needs to learn that not everyone's gonna like her content. Nahima stereotypes a lot. She makes things like, how other people vs, herself video. She basically compares herself to others. But she's stereotyping. Not everyone's gonna act look the way Nahima thinks. She also made a video called, Chinese model be like. And she showed a video of the world's fastest model posing. World's fastest posing model. This model from China can post twice a second. And the Chinese model wore basic clothes like shirts, jeans, dresses, etc. But when Nahima made the model in Gacha Club, she used a clothing that looks like it's from China. What's wrong here? You may ask. Well, searched up the traditional clothing for China since I am Japanese and have no idea in traditional Chinese clothes. And the traditional clothing is called Hanfu, please correct me if I am wrong. And from what I saw when I searched on Google, it didn't really look like the clothing Nahima made to represent the model and China. What was it then? It looked like a kimono to me. Kimona is a traditional Japanese clothing, used in ceremonies and important events. And the fact Looney did not add Hanfu is not Nahima's fault, but she should have done small research if she was gonna use the traditional clothing instead of what the model was wearing. She has traced a drawing one time without the owner's permission. She also stated she made the art when she traced off someone else. Especially when she is a big influencer, she needs to learn to take permission and credit. Her content is known to be original. However, she copies video ideas and never credits the real owners. And if someone copies her, she sends her fanbase to attack them. I think Nahima should write or make an apology video. She owns tons of apologies to different people and if she doesn't get forgiven I do not blame the fans. She should have apologized earlier and changed. Then she would have not been a problem. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this.